Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you an easy way to install Unreal Tournament 2004 on Windows 11. It's pretty fucking easy. If you mess it up, this is your guideline, your guidebook. So first you're going to want to go to the archive.org. Every link that I am using I'm going to have into the description of this video because it'll be easy as fuck. I do, what I downloaded was the zip. When you download the zip, you know, downloads here. It's going to look like this. Right click on it. Once it's done, it's like three gigabytes, not that bad. And then you're going to extract all. I do browse and then go to your desktop. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. Now, once it's installed, to actually find the executable file to open it up, it's going to be into system, like there. So, go slow. In real tournament, animations here, system. And then I did it by the type of folder, because you know it's going to be like this, super, super messy looking. Then it's going to be application, right here, UT2004. You click it. What's this? Your CD appears to be invalid. OK. Easy fix. So there's another link that I'm going to give you. Remember the file path that's in here? have it open if you really wanted to. You go into this website. Reg files, register files. So the CD the CD key itself I actually grabbed from a YouTube video made a long time ago, which is right here. I'll put that in the description too. You put here if your Windows version is, you know, 11 64 bit or 32 bit if you still use that. This is all the compatible Windows and bit Put the CD key right here. What this does, it's going to auto-populate into here where the CD key is. So the path right here, path to uh, Unreal Tournament 2004 base directory, excluding n slash, meaning this right here. So you're going to get this. You're going to copy it. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're going to copy it. This is the base directory. This isn't going into any of the subdirectories, so that's all that means this ut2004 base directory copy and paste the path file or the file path into this really easy really easy what this is for your registry editor usually you don't mess with this stuff unless you know what you're doing um, but you know by the grace of god the people who made this know what they're doing so it's pretty easy you hit download when you hit download it's going to go up to here. Now it's an executable file. So it's going to look really fishy, but it's OK. It's OK. I already downloaded it last night, so you can tell, or technically this morning. I'm going to delete the old one. Now I'm going to go here. The publisher cannot be verified. Are you sure you want to run this? Yes. Yes. Typically, no. But this time, yes. Adding information can unintentionally change or delete values and cause components to stop working correctly. Don't worry. This is good. This is good. Hit yes again. So now that they've been added successfully, you can also go check it, by the way. Easy peasy. If you wanted to run it, be like run reg edit. OK. Yes. I'll show you the file path for this one. Really easy. H key local machine. Software. From software down to WoW 6432 node. From there, Unreal Technology, installed apps. UT2004. As you see here, all of this CD key, just like this right here. All that stuff right into here. So this is how you know it's working. So you know it's going to work at least. So let's go try it. So we open it up. System 2004. So far, so good. So far, perfect. The game is up. It's up and running. I'm going to exit out of it. Actually, you know what? Let's try multiplayer. Join game. Hmm. Interesting. Can't be reached. Maybe that's because EA shut down their entire system, like the servers, and, you know, it's not a supported game anymore. How do you fix that, you ask? Easy fix. Easy fix. You're already in the system sub subfolder. Easy peasy. From here, control F. You're going to type INI. From here, it's going to pull up every INI file. 
look for UT2004. Again, UT2004. Right click it, open with Notepad or Notepad Plus if you are a nerd. Easy peasy. From here, I actually have the list right here. From here, you're going to get this folder right here, not folder, these texts. There's going to be two texts just like this, one after another, master server list. If I hit control F, it's going to be already there because I did this. Control F, type master server list, all one word, enter. What's this? Oh my gosh, it's right here. There's two of these. Guess what? Delete. And now from here, we're going to replace it with this. Master server list addressed UT master open spy net right here. This is the new server. It's like an independent server that people made. From here, you'll actually be able to connect to the internet on your game. Now, what you want to do is save, close, open Unreal Tournament again. Now, when we go back in, skip the cutscene, join game. What is this? Look, Discord. This isn't 2004. What is a Discord? I bet you're asking. You internet. What is this? Oh my goodness. There's actually players. But because I'm in Japan, the ping is crazy. It's that easy. It's that easy. Anyways, I hope this helped you guys. If you want any more advice, let me know. I'll try to answer your questions. Bye-bye.